Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we have jumped planets, got a bunch of mechs repaired and changed over. Let's have a quick look at the mech bay first. So I didn't outfit the Atlas. It seems a couple people have been saying the uh, heavy MRM-30 build would be nice on this guy. I, I agree too. We just have a quick look at him. Uh, I'm thinking that the heavy MRM-30 build might be quite, kind of nice. Um, uh, where are we here? Here we go. So we could drop a pair of heavy MRM-30s on this thing. Uh, now the ammo, we don't really have the best ammo for this thing. I mean, we got some LK, some follow the leader, some acid ammo, which is nice, some swarm, some thunder. I'll probably mix and match, put a bunch in here. We'll just see how it works out. But these things could be very hard hitting. 510 meters isn't too bad, most likely. When I do do this though, we're gonna go and put in, um, where is it here? Uh, not tracker sensors, missile range, most likely to start off just to see if the 20% increase in missile range will help out. This will be, you know, 600 meters, over 600 meters then. Plus another 10% from the pilot, so 650, or sorry, yeah, 650, 670 meters, somewhere in there. So that's a possibility. Uh, we, may need to, we may need to go with the tracker sensors to help out a bit, but that's kind of my plan. And then I might probably go with um, a battle computer. And we'll use a bunch of these things. Uh, we've got long range, extreme range, battle, con battle computer missile. Um, we got range here too. We could put that in instead of the uh, increased range to give us plus 10% plus range in the missiles. Tracking, there's a bunch of them that we can use to make these things hit a, uh, a lot better and a lot harder. So that's what we might do with this. Maybe put a rack in here as well. I'm not sure yet, but I don't think we quite have the gear for it. Um, but that's what we're going to be working towards is getting the gear for this thing. So that's that one. The other Atlas. Uh, I haven't touched yet either. It's just sort of sitting there. So we'll figure this guy out. I want to be able to get an XL engine in here first before I do anything. Um, I don't want to just load it out and, you know, we'll, we'll get what we get. Uh, then the other thing is, so I went ahead and I refitted the Timberwolves slightly. Um, I want to, I don't think these guys are quite uh, built out for the five skull missions that we're going to be running, but they're definitely uh, built for the lower end missions. So I refitted them slightly here. So let's have a look at this guy. Um, what I ended up doing is we, we kept the LRM loadout and I swapped out uh, a bunch of the Artemis ammo that we had in here for dead fire ammo. So we have got a heavier close in punch. This guy is fast so you can move in a little closer, put a heat bank in to mitigate the heat so we can fire the medium lasers more often. Uh, it's like a 400 meter range of the medium lasers. So um, yeah, this guy will be a little bit better. We got uh, the uh, missile sensor still in here. So closing in will probably be, will be better off with this mech. So yeah, that's how I loaded this guy out. And then the other Timberwolf, uh, I changed it. We lost the ATMs on the one side. So I thought, well, you know what, we'll just have a look at this, see what we can load out, see how we can do this. So I loaded it down with a pair of Ultra 5 auto cannons, one on each arm, 45 damage each, that's pretty good. And then a pair of MRM 10s with the improved and incendiary ammo. So we can run these two and I kept the tag barrage. Um, it runs really cool. Um, it's not hot at all, so we're firing everything all the time. 15 rounds of uh, Ultra 5, um, or 15 turns of Ultra 5 for both Ultra 5 auto cannons and 20 turns of, for the MRM firing. Uh, and it worked out pretty good. So I'm hoping that this thing, you know, is going to be hitting pretty hard with the MRMs doing 5 damage each. They are minus 1 accuracy, but they're in the arms. So I'm hoping that we can uh, uh, work this out. i got to figure out what we're going to put in the head here yet. That's the only thing I haven't done, but that's what's going to happen with this guy. Um, now let's have a look at, I made one other change and that was to the Orion. Now, um, Fist of Dorn was mentioning he was interested to see what the heavy laser and the risk PPC stats were side by side. And you know, I was thinking the same thing. Um, so the heavy risk PPCs, we got 75 damage for, and 55 heat at a range of 600 meters at 10 tons. It does it apply ECM stacking uh, uh, jamming of two. Um, and it gives a recoil of two and the large regular large heavy lasers are minus one to hit okay 600 meter range 80 damage 54 heat at four tons so i pulled the two heavy risk ppcs off the orion and put two of these guys in we saved um 12 tons of space so i decided to drop a rotary two in here with uh, a ton of double like a double ton of ammo with some case Extra, I managed to get an extra prototype double heat sink in here as well. Uh, had to lower the back armor slightly. 
Uh, what else did I do? I oh yes, I I downgraded the uh, Intersphere uh, double plus exchanger, which was three tons down to a clan exchanger, uh, just to be able to balance the weight off. Now the heat's a little bit hot. Um, I mean it's only over by nine, which isn't too bad. And since we've got the fire control system headshot, I'm hoping this rotary two uh, is going to cook off a bunch of headshots. So we're going to run this for a while. Now this rotary two <laughs> is 810 meters range. And the ER large laser is 810 meter range, so at a really extreme distance with the sat with the sensor trackers, we could hopefully cook off a bunch of headshots with this thing. So that's what this guy's designed for. I'm I'm kind of much happier with this build. These heavy risk PPCs most likely I'll end up selling them. Uh, they are kind of nice. The the ECM um, uh, jamming is kind of nice considering that it stacks with every hit, but since they've got so many mechs on the board. Um, they're detecting us anyway, and you're not really stopping people from shooting at us. So, um, yeah, that's how this guy's laid out now. Uh, and that's it. And everything else is pretty much the same. We got everybody repaired and back and running. Uh, I didn't touch the arrow uh, mech here. Where are you? No, that's the ATM. Prime is the arrow mech. Um, somebody mentioned maybe uh, adding more AMS to this thing. Uh, we are also talking about um, using the guided ammo which might be okay now we've got the fire control system indirect uh, which is great for indirect shooting so I don't um, the, the thought was to switch swap that out and go with and this is just a thought go with a fire control so we can uh, uh, sorry a targeting computer so we can add the um, the Artemis um, TTS in here as well so we can use the guided arrow ammo the only issue with that is I don't have any tonnage to play with. I'm stripping armor at this point, right? I could pull the jump jets off, but I think the jump jets basically give this guy a lot of survivability uh, for maneuvering. So I'd be pulling arrow ammo, and I don't really want to do that to add more targeting uh, on this guy. So I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, I'll probably leave it as is for now see how it goes. I can't lower the core, obviously. Uh, I can't really lower the heat sinking because we're already, at a, you know, at a precarious level with all of our weapons and stuff going off. Um, so yeah, this guy is probably going to remain how it is. Now, you know, it's one of those things where if we find another mech where we can have two arrows running. Like the other thing is that I may want to bring that archer forward, lower the engine, like the core down um, on it and see how that runs. I mean, I guess we could try and put heavy pharaoh so Pharaoh, no, because then all, all our slots are used up. So that's the problem, right? If we go with heavy Pharaoh, even though, like, even if we could get it in here, which we can't, we need three more slots. But if even if we could, the the couple, of, the ton or so that it would give us, we don't have any free free slots at that point, right? So we're kind of stuck with what we got, unfortunately. So that's this guy. Um, yeah. So uh, let's have a quick look here. Um, now we're going to go to the barracks real quick. I hired a couple of pilots because so Goose is basically was one of our second line pilots and so was Spoiler and I hired Wall um, who's just a basic pilot for gunnery. Um, he'll gain experience as he goes but then I also hired this more experienced pilot Vegas. This guy's stats uh, if it can show up here real quick. Come on service record. Here we go. So we got Canopian Commoner, Independent Trader, Smuggler. So at the bottom here, Brave, Increased Resistance to, uh, to Panic, uh, Discount to Buying Items at Shops, Spacer, 20% re Reduced Injury Times, may occasionally, may occasionally Steal a Few Sea Bills for You, Small Bonus to Starting XP, Bonus XP for Every Pilot in the Lance of a Command Pilot's Present. So this guy is giving us some pretty good uh, um, bonuses. Not only that, he's got, you know, good gunnery, good guts, good piloting to start off with. I gave him one more. Into, he had four um, tactics. I gave him five tactics just to get his initiative up slightly. Uh, reduces range penalty. Not that it matters, but um, yeah. So that's what we did with this guy. Um, and then Wall, like I said, he's just he's just a standard pilot. He doesn't really have much athletic, less fatigue generated from combat. No big deal. Okay. So we've got a we've got a third lance now of pilots which I want to use in some missions. So let's go to the command center. Now we don't have a lot we can play back and forth versus uh, Wolf and Falcon here. Unfortunately, uh, this one here, Summoner's Call, I do not want to take just yet. 
I think once we get a lot more 100 ton max and I have them loaded out, I might try it. I have no idea what to expect with this thing, but right now I don't want to get blasted. So we do have one here for um, Jade Falcon against uh, Pirate Band. We've got one here against Clan Wolf, which we can take. And then we've got a couple lower ones here, Hostile Insertion, Incomplete Intelligence, Intelligence, just for the regular clans. This one is against uh, Wolf, which I don't know if we, we'll see how, how much we're, uh, we're dropping against Clan Wolf as we go. This one here is against the Pirates. So we can get our secondary lance running and see how the lighter mechs are gonna do against these guys. Um, but today I think I wanna do Scientific Emergency. Um, it's an escort mission. It's, you know, it's gonna be a little long, but let's negotiate this. Gonna go full salvage on this. It's against Clan Wolf for losing some off them, but you know, we'll deal with it. All right, so um, Zeus. Let's bring the other Atlas. Let's bring um, the Archer, and let's bring the Night Gear Prime. Now there was a comment about not putting the Night Gear with somebody who cannot multi-target. At this point, I think we're okay. Um, but yes, going forward, it's probably a good idea to not do that. Uh, right now, it's uh, the AMS mech. Uh, let's actually swap these two around. Yeah, let's swap these two around. So we'll use the AMS on Duck and Night Gear. So I want to also put the incendiary ammo from here into the Archer. I haven't done that yet. Um, but it's one of the things I want to do that's been mentioned that maybe we go we try an, uh, the a, a uh, Hydra ammo uh, on the Archer using Hydra 70. Uh, I could, I've got one extra, I got one ton on this guy and I've got one extra ton in storage. So we can put two tons in here and pull two tons of Artemis ammo out. See how that runs. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to just jump into this battle and get this done. All right, here we go. Woo, okay, this will be nice. Yep. Well, they got like four lances protecting the, uh, the first base here. Well, at least we can see them. Oh, this is going to be fun. And we are completely exposed here. I hope we're not on a hill and can't move. That would be bad. All right. Uh, it looks like a lot of them are going before us. So at least we've got really high evasion here. What are we looking at? A Naga. Clan LRM carrier. Okay, Mars Mark Three. There's two of them here, I think. And that could be a long tom stuck in there. It's something else is stuck right here. There's two of them here. We're gonna have to like punish really, really fast. This carrier is probably going to die first. It's a lot of armor. Looks like there might be three here. Can I zoom in on that? No, oh, there's only two, 15 and 14, okay. That's a Mars. There's a long Tom right there. He's stuck right beside the Mars. Okay. Um, I'm listening. You got to jump. All right. Well, do I want you to move? Or do we want to, re if we reserve though, my worry is that we lose initiative next, you know what, we're going to reserve. We need these chevrons of evasion right now. Because if we don't use the chevrons of evasion right now, these guys are going to paste us early. Um, We'll whittle it down a little bit. We're going to go before the long tom, obviously, but it's not going to be... 
the people right off the bat. I want most of their mechs to go. All right, duck. Standing by. Okay, they're staying quiet. Uh, you have 20 initiative. So let's just reserve you. I think you'll go to, f he's gone to 11, okay. You go to 11? Yeah, I went to 11. Why is it saying 19? Maybe that was the initial, whatever. Okay, that guy reserved. They can't hit, right? It's like, with this much evasion, it's like, you know, 0.9% chance to hit. It's like, why bother firing, right? So they're just going to sit, which is what I want them to do. And then we should have Goofy, Infiltrator, Dallas, Gundal, Hellion, and Mastodon all shooting at these guys early. Because this guy most likely a reserve. Then these guys go on 15 and 14. We can kill both of them, hopefully with enough firepower. I want to get rid of this. I think we have... Because this Mars vehicle is sitting on top of the Long Tom, we may have to kill that one first before targeting the Long Tom. I don't know. They've got 20 guys here as a blocking force, so this is going to be brutal. Brutal close combat. And we're going to have to spread the frig out. Somebody's moving through a building back there. Yeah, right here. Right up in here. Man, I was hoping for not not to be this point blank, and I was hoping not for this much, this many defenders to start here. Okay. Well, the bonus is is that we can put when workhorse is up. If we haven't taken these guys out, we can put two arrows in here, and hopefully burn these guys to the ground. Yeah, there's the long time. See, we should be able to target that guy. Oh, it's shifting. It was not letting me target the other guy now. Whatever. The long time's the one that's got to go. So they probably have a lot of people going on 19, looks like. Goofy with the ATMs. Oh. Yeah. Not really, but whatever. Serious armor loss. And that's a carrier back here. Is it a regular carrier or is that a heavy carrier? Looks like a regular one. Clan LRM carrier, okay. Same as this guy. Reporting. That carrier must not have fired then. Alright Goofy, um... Let's get started. Alright, let's tab these. That's the Naga. Kanaga, oh wow. Uh, 304, eh? Well, he doesn't have much armor. The Barrage, 3.6%. Forget that. We're going to Warlord this, try to get as many hits as we can. Let's see if we can kill this Long Tom. Here it comes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Okay, who's next here? We got Dallas, Gundal, and Mastodon next. I think he's a little too close for better chances to hit. Plus the long time hasn't gone yet, so part of the reason why. This guy's like vanishing back here. Uh Dallas. What do we want to put that heavy Gauss rifle on? I think whatever is gonna hit the easiest. Most likely this carrier, I think.
can we get a direct line of shot sight we can Oh, we got another one back here. Oh crap, this guy's got to die too. 10%. It ain't happening now though. It's happening on this guy. Yeah, let's shred him. If I don't fire all three, I'm, I'm level not to kill him. Okay. Spread it out, people. Spread it out. That Hetzacopolopolis is going to fire, and there's not a damn thing we can do about it. That's the LRM carrier. That's the Mars Long Tom. There's the Naga. Come on. Hey. Oh, man, really? You got the headshot on here. Why can't you let me choose his head? Oh, man. All right, well, we shred this guy. Oh, right, this is the Atlas. Ah, oh, I was thinking we were... Po okay, this is the Atlas. Right. All right, shred this guy. BTFU, man. I don't think we're going to be able to take any of these guys out. All right. Um, Mars. Yeah, long time, point nine. Looks like it's going to be you, buddy. I'm going to leave the Warlord off for this one. Let's fire. Twelve and twenty one percent. Not stopping that long time for firing. But we're gonna move into here because if he does decide to fire at me, he's gonna damage everybody else here. Ooh, what do we got over here? We got an Orion. That's a nice juicy target. Look at that. Dire Wolf, that's a nice target. Lerm carrier. We're not going to be able to hit those guys. This target, not so good. But he's almost gone. We should be able to cl maybe clean this guy up. So let's go after this Orion. Ninety-one percent if we hit the leg. One sixty. It's the same armor. Let's see if we can blow through the torso. Yep. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Crippled him. So he's pretty much useless this battle. And I screwed the camera up again because, you know, that's how I do. Oh, let's just stop moving it while it's not my turn. Yeah, you BTFU. Wow, you actually hit the goss. That's scary as shiz. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. This 
This guy's got a lot of armor. No, not that bad. Good chance with the barrage, too. He's already gone, though. I mean, everybody's really already gone. Could kill that carrier. What's this guy? Direwolf? This guy's, I think, right now, the guy I think we want to see if we can take out. So let's Warlord this. See if we can remove this Mars vehicle. Beautiful. I think we got some damage on this guy, too. Yeah, we did. Beautiful. And this guy? Yeah, a little bit on that guy. Okay. That was a good strike. Alright, not so bad. Yeah, yeah. Chillax. Chillax, man. All right, what's next? We've got duck, workhorse. Yeah, shred those, please. All right, workhorse. Another Mars. Going to do this. Okay. Heavy hits, Relax. Off. Receiving you. All right, duck. Um, our AMS is jammed. That figures. That's a good shot in that long tom. That's a Copalopolis, not so much. Let's shred this long tom. It's going to put our heat way up, but we got to get rid of it, so let's get rid of it. Okay. How's our initiative this turn? Not bad. Okay, another Naga. Yeah. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Just relax. Another Naga, for crying out loud. Well, you know what? That just means we can get take three Naga parts and replace the uh the night gear with the uh, arrow systems with a Naga. Standing by. Um, gonna leave both of these off. How is this guy doing torso wise? I have no idea. Let's see if we can clean this guy up. Inflicted some heavy damage. No, we cannot. Move order received. What's this guy? Medium, probably. I'm not liking my archer very much. Gargoyle. Okay, 80 ton. Exterminator up here. God, look at all these LRM vehicles. Another carrier, another carrier. Yeah. We need to shred some carriers, girl. Uh, any of them. Anyone that you can kill. 
Just do it. Go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and shred these carriers. Let's multi-target actually. That's a Hetzacopolopolis. That's a carrier here. Yep, let's go this route. And firing. Not quite enough. Ah! You did. Yep. Let's start rotating to the left here, I think. Okay, he's overheating. Beautiful. Griffin, probably with a PPC. Yep. Oh, it's probably got that uh, double shot PPC. Another Naga. Jesus. Alright, Dallas. Uh, we need some heavy damage on some stuff here. Probably this Hetzacopolopolis. Let's get rid of them, please. Ah. Oh. Oops. Copy that. Another Naga? Hellbringer, okay. Um, <laughs> let's go this route I'll make them dead. beautiful come on the largest should penetrate here ah uh, you only hit with one let's hopefully the rat kills this thing yes nice they're down five. Two to one odds. Keep rotating this way, please. If you freaking let me. Come on. There we go. Alright. You're shooting at Goofy, are you? Okay. Yes, Your turn. Um, This is gonna be a multi-target because Goofy is gonna win the day. All right, A, B, C. So A is gonna take uh, a six and a nine. B is gonna take a six and a nine. C is gonna take those guys and this guy and this guy. And we're going to fire. The target is confirmed. Where did the where did that hit? Okay, back there, beautiful. Toasted them. Just want those guys to be toasty back there. Hopefully they don't fire this turn. Still an AMS range. Beautiful. A lot of their characters... Characters. A lot of their carriers have been shredded by now. Let's move in. Let's shred some more. Uh, let's see if we can get... That's the Mars. That's a 60 ton carrier. Now you've gone, haven't you? 40? Let's just cycle through and see what we've got here. 
Hellbringer at 31, 13 for that guy. It's not really applicable. And Naga is pretty much done. We should be able to kill this guy. Orion, no. That direwolf. Ultra twos, couple of peepees. That's a pretty heavy loadout. I think that guy needs some Hydra. Naga. Naga C. Naga Seki. Couple ER peeps, ATMs, and medium pulses. Gargoyle. The Mars. Yeah, we could soften it. I don't know if we'll get a kill on this guy, but I think we should fire. I'm going to Warlord it too. Uh, we're going to go after this carrier. Let's see if we can remove him. Okay, significant damage though. Target, taking a critical hit. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we got some big guns left. We've still got infiltrator to go. Workhorse still. We have we still have our arrows. They're gonna be coming where all their mechs are. Yeah, don't make me unstable. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Ready for orders. You got the guns. You know what to do. Here it comes. Target confirmed. Get those guys nice and free. Look at the heat on that. Damage. Burn you mother, mother, pearls. Back it up. I know we're rotating left, but I'm going to back up because I want to make sure that we're uh, far enough back that they might not shoot at them. That arrow mech is a juicy target. So these guys should be nice and toasty now. Yeah, that nag is overheating. Orion's not. This guy's nice and warm. Direwolf's not taking any heat damage. Maybe he maybe he just ended his turn. Maybe that was the guy I was thinking about. Or looking at. Okay. Uh, infiltrator. Let's, let's confirm the vigilance because we're going to sprint here. Uh, minefield in the way, huh? It's all mines over here, is it? All right, well, we got to sprint. How much are we going to take here? Ten. These guys do better than we do. Uh, let's just have a... I think I want to go after this guy. I think we do. He didn't do anything last turn, but he's in a good position for some ambushing strikes here. I don't have multi-target, so I can't really... Looks like it's going to be this guy, and we're just going to fire straight out. I want to get as many hits on him as possible. Hopefully the light tag lands. Oh, all of them but one. Beautiful. Hopefully that'll make him reconsider his life decisions. Okay, he's going now. He's trying to flank us, it looks like. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oh, he didn't fire, though. Sorry, take that back. Ow. I'm under heavy fire. He's all yours next turn, girl. Unless they knock your ass down, then that's bad. Oh shit, she's going on 16. Hellion, can you clean that guy up for me, please? We got Hellion first and, and Goofy. These guys right here, they're in a good position to do a lot of damage to her. These guys, not so much. So, if we can get Goofy to engage the carrier and wipe it out. Um and Hellion to engage this guy. Hopefully from the side and do a lot, of, if we can move her forward and do attack this guy from the side, do a lot of damage on the side, which he's already taken. 
Ooh, he took a lot of leg damage too. Maybe we can strip his leg off. Okay. This Orion, not so worried. The Nagas are more of an issue. The arrow is going to be dropping down in here where these Nagas are again. Oh, I go on 22? Oh, <gasps> really? Say goodbye to that leg of yours. Fuck you. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Gonna back it up here. Hopefully they'll target me. Got more armor right now than they do. Unlikely. They're gonna target Lilu. You know for sure they will. Who do we got next then? We got Hellion is next. So he's down, not worried about him. Now. And Goofy, we got Goofy too. Right here. Mm -hmm. Rack's down. Shit. Well. This might block some of their direct line of sight, maybe. Maybe. I stress maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, that could be a Naga kill. Let's clear this guy out with what we have. You did. You am ever motherfucking did. A carry is all going to be indirect, eh? Really? Alright, well... And who do we want to get a tag on? Maybe this Naga? This guy? Let's see if we can get a tag on that Naga back there. Come on. Ah. Nope. Well. Damn it. Sorry, right, buddy. It's all right. We're putting the pressure on him. Hellion's up next. Oh, no, she's not. She's already done. We've got Mastodon and Workhorse coming up next. A couple missile systems coming into play, so that'll help out. Hopefully we can knock this guy out and drop some more fire in these guys. Good to go. All right, so we got some Artemis. Let's get that AMS on this side now. And rather than going with the Artemis, so the Hydra is supposed to be better against vehicles. Wow. Look at this thing using thunder. Uh, let's turn one of these off. Let's switch back to Artemis. Should get a kill off this. Oh my god, really? I think I hit something good. Uh, I want the Hydra for these guys. We better only face one Lance like in the next two, uh, two turns or this is going to be big problems. We're going to run out of ammo.
31 on that guy, huh? Okay, let's shift through it here. What's our best chance to hit? 87 on the knockdown direwolf. That Naga. That one. 77 on this direwolf. 60 on the Mars. 47. We're going to drop two 15s on this guy. Okay, let's do... Um, Yeah, let's go this route. Multiple enemies locked on. Okay, good. We used more missiles than we should have, but... Good to go. Alright, you know what to do. Shit, we can't target there? It's because we're turned, that's why. On my way. Let's put it right in here. Okay, keeping them toasty. What do we got left? Gundol, Dallas. Dallas is hanging on. Although I don't know. I don't I don't know if any of these guys back here are gonna fire. This Naga most likely not, because it's like roasting right now. This direwolf maybe not because it's like a, a lot of energy. Gargoyle, maybe? I don't know. But we still got the guys up on the hill here that I gotta worry about. Uh, and this guy. Okay, night gear. Yeah, and I'm gonna say yes. We need another. We need another AMS two in here. Beautiful. You get to go. Who do we want to smoke? Probably this guy. It's a chance on this thing. Oh. Let's give this guy a big F you. I want this guy gone. Nice hits. Let's move and get one Chevron of evasion. Oh, we got two. I'll take two. Two is always good. Oh, we got one. It did say two, didn't it? Yeah. Well, we had one. Never mind. All right, Gundol. Let's get that Rack 5 into play. Maybe we can kill this Mars vehicle. He's moving. All right, he's not doing much, though. Yes, come in. Well, this other guy, Direwolf's going to be getting up. So let's... You can target from here anyway. Rack's jammed, but let's see if we can blow this torso off him. Nope. Oh! <laughs> what? There you go. Ammo explosion. You just got regular case, not case two. Argument for the case? The argument for the case of case two. <laughs> yeah, that's another... You guys have been... Uh, Giving me really good advice. Case two, I think that was Fist of Dorn again. Can't I don't think I could ever run without that now. Wow, he's pissed. <laughs> that was an F you if I've ever seen one. That was a screw you guys. 
Oh, he turned himself. Beautiful. All right, we got some good rolls here. So do they, though. Good thing Goofy's going relatively earlier. I'm under heavy fire. Yep, I know. Relax. We're rotating back right this turn because these guys are moving to the left as well. That gargoyle is probably overheating. Yeah, he's hot. He is hot. Commander. All right, Masty, they've uh, freed you up. Uh, Mars is taking a chunk, but it's not really doing a lot of damage. Well, who hasn't fired yet? Should we fire on him again? Nag has a better chance to hit. Mm, who do I want to kill this turn, though? That's the question. What do we got up here? Hellbringer, Exterminator, Naga D. That's a side shot for everybody. My right torso is really badly damaged. Um... This guy's not in the game yet. I have no idea what he's g got to use. Let's go after the direwolf. All right, we're rotating back this way, guys. Let's keep the left side turned. Copy that. Yeah, of course he's going to engage now. Get you out of harm's way. And we're going to be overheating, so we're going to just minimize what we're using here. Uh, we got Warlord next turn, so let's just use this on the Orion. Okay, tag's on. Oh, there's that griffin. I keep forgetting about that guy. <laughs> oh, one hit. Oh, it's a plasma gun. Yes, Commander. Well, we could kill that guy. 115, 57, 57. Let's find something better, though. 44, 99. We don't have any uh, thing left. Uh, let's see if we can clean up this direwolf. Pilot lethal damage. Took his head right off. Girl, you are a murderer. All right. What do you mean, all right? You know the deal. I oh, know she doesn't. She doesn't get cocky. That's what it is. Commander. She's just like, yeah, I know it took his head off, but you know, I don't want to get cocky or anything. I copy. Okay. Let's toasty these guys up over here. LRM's coming down. Somebody took damage. Uh, 
Um, let's leave this guy off, save a bit of heat. Got Warlord back next turn, but let's shred this guy. Freaking Orion is a murderer. Murderer. Not Orion, Zeus, you know what I mean. Zeus, Orion, whatever. How's that heat doing over there? <laughs> it's just roasting. All right, who do we want to go after here? Do we just shoot this guy? Let's get as many hits on him as we can from the side. There goes the leg. There goes the torso, the arm. Have a seat, buddy. You want to direct fire friggin' arrows at my guys, that's what you get. This dire wolf's a murderer. Alright, um... Sixty percent chance for a direct hit on this guy. Yeah. Two of them shut down. And he disappears off of the friggin' sensors? Are you sh crapping me? Come on. Uh. Let's only go a little bit. They'll most likely start up this turn. We got Gundal still. His rack should be back. That carrier is annoying. Yeah. Carrier is annoying. Wait, what? Oh, did I really just hit that? That's getting more frequent. I find the, the laggier it is. Can't believe I did that. No, I totally can't. I don't know who... I don't know I'm kidding. It's kind of a me thing to do. Alright, who do we want here? Gargoyle. This Naga is shut down. Let's see if we can capitalize on it and take this thing's head off. Or just blow the shit out of it, one or the other. Alright, next turn. Looks like we got some good rolls here. Goofy at 24. Warlord's back for him. I wonder if we should send him in to shred up this griffin. Get in the trees. Yes, Commander. Trees are superior. Have a lot of armor. Uh, not bad. Let's do a multi-target. Um, we can't. We warlorded it. This guy's shut down, though. Go up to the leg of the torso. Think the torso firing. Going down. Oh, that was the Naga that went down. <laughs> he must have got clipped by something. Goofy's not in the best position. I think he's might be outside of AMS range. Our AMS is over here. 
Uh, I think he's just close. The gargoyle is shutting down. That's a friggin' barbecue over there, man. We should be able to take three mechs this turn, maybe four. Once that happens, they're done. They still have the height advantage. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Your goofy father, your goofy fodder now. All right, what are they doing? Who's going next here? Mastodon, Hellion, and Duck, and Warhorse. Standing by. Got enough flames on the other guy. Uh, let's go one and one. Okay. See if we can get rid of this carrier. He's vanished though. Oh no, he hasn't. There he is. They still got this Naga back here that we gotta worry about. Do we want to barrage him too? Fuck it, of course we do. <laughs> this guy shut down again. <laughs> the other guy's melting. Ah, I'm having too much fun now. Jump into the minefield. Oh, that's not a minefield. There we go. Beautiful. Save a bit of armor. We're gonna have to go the long way around here to get <laughs> to get to where we gotta go. So many mines. Okay, if we can get rid of this carrier, which has now vanished. That prick, he's gotta die too. Doing way too much damage. I'm taking some serious hits. Yeah. Warning. Armor low. Losing lots of armor. That ripped up a bunch of armor. Reporting. Heavy damage. Losing armor. Coordinates received. That's not snow, is it? That's a back shot. At 54, though. 47 on this guy. Really? The other guys really aren't a threat right now. That's the guy. On the ground. That's the Naga on the ground. Mars Assault. Are we out of range for this guy? I guess we just can't see him. Guy's got an arrow as well. We can't have him fire. Let's clean it up. Save some heat. Here we go. Multiple targets confirmed. All right. Feel good about that one. Cleaned up nicely. One less target. Orders. Let's give this guy an FU. Ah, crap. Can't really. Keep forgetting how much heat those AMSs put out.
Let's get over here. Got it. We're gonna hold off this turn. I should fire, but I I I can't justify it at this point. We gotta get infiltrator on the guy the Naga on the hill. So we've taken out the dire wolf and two Nagas this turn. Inflicted a little bit of damage on the uh, carrier up on the hill. Looks like he's back in play. He's still pl he's still putting minefields down. Goofy's panicking, really. I'm here. Location confirmed. Hmm. That's could be the death of the Orion right there. Not bad on that guy, no. Eh. Let's remove the Orion from the picture. No? Really? Really? Come on. Eighty five percent for the CT, eighty three for the torso. Couple of good hits to that CT and he's done. Well Enemy mech. Critical damage. Next time. Don't worry, Goofy, I got your back here, man. Don't panic. Drop the heat, but we're gonna definitely go after this guy with everything. Beautiful. Three naggers down. Like I said, Goofy, you got two heavy mechs here behind you. Two assaults, don't worry. We got your back. Just don't panic, man. Fear is the mind killer. It's going on 19, eh? Alright, duck's on 21. That gargoyle, I don't know if he's shut down or what it is. Yes, Commander. Okay. Gonna attack this guy with the Hydra because it'll spill over onto the other guy. On. All right, we got the other guy. Beautiful, I love that spill damage. Let's just move into here. Okay, Goofy's up. No, Mastodon and Heli are next. And Workhorse. You shred me up a griffin, please. Yeah, we can't do it that way. Oh, we can. <laughs> we can! Because, damn! That guy can't be shooting that Goofy. We got three assaults back in you up, buddy. Just relax over there. We got you covered. Location confirmed. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to switch back to regular arrow ammo. 
We got lots of that, not lots of the other stuff. Oh, that's a move. Attack, please. Oh, is he at a range? No, he's not. I'm not turned. That's the problem. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little better. Let's only launch one then. Yes, Commander. It's all mines here. Oh, that's not. Okay, let's just go with, save some heat, let's just go with a pair of sixes. Do a little bit of damage to this thing. Finish him up, please. Yeah, he's still going. Okay, we got the exterminator up there. This is really the only thing that's applying a lot of damage. Let's just hammer him. Still going. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. It's Cassius Clay up there, for Christ's sake. We're down to four. Five. Who am I missing? They got five guys. Orion. Gargoyle. Oh, there's a Hellbringer up here. There he is, but there's the Exterminators up here too somewhere. Can you finish this guy off, please? Just kill him. Thank you. Sit tight, drain a little bit of heat. Next turn, Hellion's up, Mastodon. Okay. This guy should be warming up a little bit, or uh, cooling off a little bit now, so we're going to have to go after him with all, all gusto. Looks like he may have lost an arm, though. But maybe I'm wrong. Probably wrong. He's got sniper artillery? Forty six left in the CT, huh? This guy's still shut down. Let's go after that CT. Confirmed. Stay where you are. Reporting. That guy's not having a good day. That's what you get for trying to run. Guy's trying to run too. Let's warlord it. Better chance to hit. Let's see how much damage we can apply to him. Well, I'll soften him up anyway. Not enough to save him. Oh, he's still alive. Um, Target 
Still alive. <laughs> this guy's gonna die on his own. We should just leave him there. <laughs> he'll end, he'll be shut down for the rest of the match and just end up blowing up due to overheating. Who do they got going first here? Probably this guy. No, uh, I don't know. Oof, that's terrible. Fifty six, but that's a side shot. Let's just go with standard ammo. Leave the barrage off. We're gonna well yeah, we gotta go through there anyway. Beautiful. We gotta walk through that way. He just look at that meltdown. Meltdown. Just fire the lasers. Okay, one hit. I'm receiving you. Got eight rounds left for these guys. Eight turns of firing, that is. Let's warlord this. 158 damage. Really? That's it, huh? Confirmed. That's all you're gonna give me? Is that gonna shut down up there or something? Is there no way we can get through here without a minefield? Maximum speed. 10 damage. Okay, not so bad. Ooh, we only got like four turns of firing left. I know he's up there. There you go. Move down to here. We're only going to go across one once. I don't want to go across this minefield twice. Affirmative. 11 damage. Wow. <laughs> Reporting. Save your ammo. Down, moving out. Save your ammo, buddy. Okay, once we kill this Orion, I will most likely go off camera until we get everybody in position to activate the uh, convoy because we still got to get that convoy out of here the yeah they, at least they hit right to the edge of the minefield there you go we should be okay Alright, we can see this guy. Beautiful. Hit him with everything. Engaging target. Well, target acquired. Panicking. Full speed, no target. 
So we got 11 turns of heavy gauze fire. That's a 38%, huh? Well, we had to try it. I mean, I guess we really didn't, but... Should just be using lasers on this guy. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Save your ammo. Yes, Commander. Actually, shoot first. Oh, you can't. Position confirmed. Couple of ER mediums. Got it. Beautiful. Okay, guys, I will see you when we're up here ready to activate the capture zone. All right, here we go, guys. We've just activated it. Oh, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope everything turns out. I don't know if this vehicle up on this hill is going to be able to move, though. Let's hope he is. All right, what have we got up ahead? We should have one lance of... of um, or one star of enemies... Mackie. It's most likely two or three up here and two or three down here. So what I've done is I positioned Infiltrator, um, Hellion, Mastodon, and uh, Workhorse over here. So we got the uh, Archer and the Night Gear Prime with the uh, arrow systems up here, plus the rack and good uh, pinpoint targeting. And then we've got... Um, uh, we got Goofy with the ATMs, Dallas... Ooh, King Crab. And, um, and, um, what's his name down here? Uh, Gundal, sorry. On this side. And then we activated with the AMS mech. I want to make sure that these guys are covered by AMS on the first turn. Which is why this guy's here. Now, when Dallas took that 80 hit, from Gundal. She took it in the leg, so we have to be very careful in this match. Uh, not the best place to be standing, but... Alright, they got a vehicle here, too. What is this? Merkiva. Banshee. That's good chances to hit. Merkiva. A couple ballistic, couple missile. They got a pair of Mackies up here? They got a pair of Mackies up here. And a regular King Crab. Well, maybe not. A pair of heavy rifles, a couple rockets. This guy's a shit King Crab. And an average Banshee. Alright, well, we're going to go after the Banshee. We're going to Warlord this. Hopefully uh, get more hits on this guy. Start this party off right. Now, we continue with this guy. Got the tag barrage on him. Really good chances to hit. Ooh, okay, not so much with him. Really, really good chance to hit with this guy. What kind of armor are we looking at here? Oh, nothing. This could be a kill if we go after this guy. Let's do it. We're going to Warlord it. Let's see if we can kill this Mackie right, out, right straight out here. Nope, but hell of a good hit. Yeah, it's just the LK. Let's just use the regular arrows. Drop them on this guy. Stick with the vehicles, please. Drop him on this guy. Roger. Still not a kill. Solid connection on that one. Waiting for orders. 
That Banshee's got his back to us? Screw you. Going down. Yeah, it's really that first little bit. But you gotta get past in these escort missions. Once you do that, it's pretty much uh, game over for the enemy. You think Goofy give that king crab a face full of fu? I certainly think so, Warlord. This and firing. Waiting for orders. I put the battle down. And now you got a big meat shield to defend you. Ah, Warlord, this sucker. Hammer the king crab firing. Oh yeah, torso hits, man. Beautiful. There goes the arm. Hit, and a knockdown. Nice. What do you think of your effing ambush? Uh, copy. Hammer him. These guys just have no idea what hit them. Another one for the kill board. Good to go. Well, we'll soften them up anyway. Well, we killed the king crab. You don't even need to move. Okay, let's see if we can shred this Merkiva. Merkaba, sorry. Okay, nice shooting. I love how that guy, that thing just strips armor like crazy. Okay, let's see if we can finish him up. Both lasers hit. Should be enough, yeah. Just the banshee left. Standing by. Hope these vehicles move. On my way. Cause it doesn't well they'll go after us, okay. Is it out of range for my LRMs? It can't be. Ah well. Beautiful. They're moving. No shot in that banshee, huh? Trying to steal that kill. As a leader, I gotta get some good kills, and I really haven't at all <laughs> in this whole series. There's been a handful of good times, good, good kills, so that's about it. Ah, uh, shit, he's gonna be stuck on the hill. Is that Banshee dead? Alright, let's see if we can move forward and target the... I think he's dead. Double time. Let's go. Yeah, I think he's dead. I just think it's not registering. That was a double kill then. Uh, get your ass back here, man. See if we can get this vehicle moving somehow. Alright, so I'm going to keep moving these guys forward until they go out, and once they get there to a point where they can, they're going to go out, then I'll cut back in. Alright guys, so here comes the dropship. We got one guy that just won't move. So we're going to arrow him after this. Waiting for orders. Well, I got some orders for you right here. Oh, 
Let's shoot at this guy. Let's just be uh, fair about this. this. Guy's got his back turned to us. Let's not just take that. Aye, aye. Beautiful. Yeah, there's your guns. We could have killed this guy, but... Yeah, we got three out. Our AMS mech is like woefully out of position. It was saying, hey, Duck, you gotta be here to make sure you're escorting the units, and Duck goes over there and the guy won't move. He's standing right beside him and the guy's just like, ah, I've, I'm done. I'm too tired to move anywhere now. So we're just gonna arrow the shit out of him. Right after we take care of these guys, though. Oh. Ostrock, Ost War. Let's take on the war first. These guys are afraid to move up and engage, but we're not afraid to engage, so. Alright, Infiltrator. Crusader. Demon Tank, eh? Why is it so bad to hit this guy? Ah oh well. Just fire. See ya. Oh, he's still going. Left torso. No, nope, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Take him back. Standing by. Just friggin' leave him there. He's not moving anywhere. On my way. Watch, he'll make me a liar. He'll actually move now. Enjoy some of that. All right, what do we got left? Mastodon. We just set up a firing line here waiting for these guys, so... Demon is 40%, huh? 40 on the Crusader. Wow, okay, well. Bet you wish you never came on this mission. Drop some regular arrow. Beautiful. I'm here. All right. Um, finish him up. That looked like a headshot to me. That looked like a headshot. Didn't say it was, but it sure as hell looked like it was. Oh, I wonder if I'm uh, having a hard time to hit because I'm standing in this, uh, in these crystals here. Probably. I bet you this guy back here starts to move now. Who do we have left? Anybody? Oh, we got Goofy. Yes, Commander. All right, um, let's close. Let's go with this on this guy. Warlord it. Firing. Roger. Beautiful. Reporting. One last okay, that guy's out. Ready for order. Let's see if we can finish this guy up real quick. Rotary's jammed, huh? Ah, well. Good shooting. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, that other guy's not moving. Good to go. Get out of that area. It's going to be a no-go zone very, very soon. I might as well use the Hydra on this guy. Because why not? Is he at a range? Yeah, he's at a range. Ah, well. Ah, uh, you got him anyway. Enemy down. Beautiful. Reporting. Standing by. Good thing the uh, competition got weaker as we went on. Roger that. Digging in. Good to go. Got 
Got a bit of Inferno left. Let's use it up. Because this guy's not going anywhere. Wow, like no damage. Alright guys, I'm going to cut back when we <laughs> off that guy and we're out of here. Alright? Alright, there we go. Got rid of that guy. Now the dropship can come in and take these guys out of here. And that should be it. Oh my god, that was like painful. I went through six Inferno rounds and four uh, regular rounds to get rid of that guy. There we go. My god. Painful. All right, let's see if we can, we're gonna get a nag out of this. Mission successful. All right, there you go. Contract payment increased by 20%. That is not gonna help. Not in any way, shape, or form. We took a lot of damage. Goofy took a bunch of damage. No wonder he was panicking. That torso took some pretty good hits. Mastodon took some good hits early on, but he survived. Anyone else here? The Zeus took a little bit of leg damage. Direwolf took a bit of torso damage, but not much. Uh, Dallas took a bit of damage across the board. She looks like she took a head hit here. But uh, she also took one in the leg from one of her own guys, which didn't really help. So, actually, you know what? The, da the kills here are actually pretty good across the board. Uh, it's kind of what you expect. I mean, Hellion did really great with five kills, four mech kills, of course. And everybody else, pretty not, not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, the leader gets the least amount of kills. <sighs> but you know what? You're the commander. You're not supposed to be in the battle, right? Right? Is that what? Yeah, right? Huh? No? All right. Uh, pair of fixed arrows. Naga D is what? Uh, is it all the same? Four... Three, six, four, three, six. It's all the same. I guess it just depends on what the loadout is. And Naga A. So let's take Naga D, C, and B. I should take direwolf parts. Or king crab parts. Or some kind of parts, because we're hurting for uh we're hurting for sea bills right now. Clan arrow systems. I'm going to hope, hope I say, we get one in, one of these mechs here uh, and leave those off. Four ER larges, Goss, clan Goss rifles, just one. That'll save a bit of weight if we choose one of those. Two laser, four laser AMSs, that's kind of nice. Long Tom artillery, LRMs, let's hope we get some good rolls here. Um five tags <laughs> there's the Artemis fire control missile we already have those those were in the uh, vehicles wow seven case two um, clan endo steel we need but we can do without it for now look at all these cores beautiful uh, XL engines enhanced imaging which we've got Artemis 3 heat Oh man, anything good down here? Fair lamellar. It's not bad at all. Um, Guardian ECMs, defensive gyro. It's kind of nice, but I don't know where I put that on. I mean, I guess it could go on the uh, Atlas or something, but. Um, plenty of double heat sinks. Nova CEWSs. I wonder if we take two of these. Uh. We've got one already. I want to drop it in the new Atlas, but maybe we take two more and we put it in some of our other mechs. Um, Watchdog Sweet. Oh, Arrow Rounds. We've got five of these right now. Goss Rounds, Hyper Goss Ammo, Improved ATM. We could use that because I want to use the two eight Improved ATM 12s that we have, but I can't right now because uh, we don't really have the ammo for it. That would help. God, the stuff here. Ultra Auto Can 10. So, okay, nothing amazing, amazing, amazing. It's like blowing me away here. 
except for maybe the two Nova CEWSs. I mean, overall, five remote sensor dispensers. Five of them, really? Uh, yeah, you know, increased ally sensors and sensor range. Makes enemies easier to spot by one in aura range. Minus one accuracy debuff to enemies in jammer range. I'm thinking we can take these two. I'm thinking we take those two. If they're so rare for us to come across them, I think taking two of them is probably a good idea. The rest of the stuff we can get on other matches. Not really worried about that. Um, I mean, short of taking like that, another like a dire wolf or something, but we've already got that. I want to get a good missile mech going, and I think the Naga would probably be kind of cool in that respect. I know it's only 80 tons. We could probably get a better arrow mech going with the dire wolf, but I mean, we're kind of reaching that point where the battles now are relatively equal, and I think if I make my lance all 100 ton mechs, it's, we're going to tip the weight completely in our favor. I mean, it's pretty close to that now. I'm even thinking about cranking the uh, difficulty up to the max right now. But we're going to grab this and see how we do. Okay, we only got the three Naga parts, one Crusader part. Ooh, one, two King Crab parts. We might actually have one kicking around, too. Ryan 2C part, Mackie part, no big deal. Ostrock, Hellbringer part. All right. Oh, we got an arrow. Okay, that's nice, just in case we don't get one on this mech. We got four Guardian ECMs. Beautiful, because we have none. Uh, but we're going to be using Nova CEWs. We got the remote sensor dispensers. <laughs> Of course we did. What else? Regular LRM ammo, a couple of patchworks. So the roll was really bad. A few things that we can sell, but uh, and maybe we can put together a king crab. But let's have a look. All right, David. David took Wanaki from Tortuga. Big deal. All right, six hundred. Actually, that's not that bad. I was expecting a million. So we made two hundred and something thousand. So. We lost about 450000 on this. Let's get the repairs going. But we made a mech, put together a Naga, which I think we're going to... I think the uh, Night Gear is going to change out and become uh, a second-line mech. And we'll turn it into something. I don't know what. Probably a, maybe a missile mech. I don't know. Um, maybe we switch out the Mad Cat. But let's have a look here. Mech Bay to see if we did get a King Crab now. Because I think we did have a King Crab part. And if we did, maybe we get rid of the uh, this atlas and put together a king crab, so we've got a different, like a different hundred tonner. So we're not having three atlases and two direwolves. Be like two two atlases, two direwolves, and a uh, a king crab. But let's have a look at storage real quick. Put together a naga. So the naga B. Um, first generation woodsman Omni mech. Taking up a pair of arrow. This is the same. This is the same. I have no idea what's what here. So let's put together the D. I'm hoping that that's supposedly supposed to be better than the other ones. So let's ready this guy. Uh, it's going to cost us, but we're going to do it. Confirm that. Thank you. Thank you, Darius. Thank you very much. Ah, we do have enough for a king crab. King crab zero. This was the crap one. We got the kaiju. <gasps> do we have any others? That's it. Let's put together a kaiju, guys. That's expensive as hell. Let's confirm that. Yeah, that's better than that crappy old uh, one that we had that they had. All right, let's have a look here. So, uh, the Kaiju first. Take a refit on this, see what it needs to have done to it. Looks like it's pretty much cored here. Had a PPC computer on it, eh? But the head was go is, is gone here. PPC Donald. All right, so, oh, the core is intact, which is good. It's going to cost me less to put together. Endo Steel's there. So, what's the repair on this guy? 575,000. That's not that bad. And since we have to do that with the Atlas anyway, let's strip everything off here. Ooh, except for the core. 
Let's leave the endosteel for now. Let's leave the core. Right? And then everything else is just garbage, right? Okay, we leave those. 584,000, 10 days. We're going to confirm this. We don't have the C-bills. Because of course we don't have the C-bills. I will fix this in a second. Let's get rid of that other atlas. I know, I know. Sell. Actually, we should go to this. So hang on a second. I want to check this. So we're going to, if we scrap the atlas, 1.6 mil, right? So if I cancel that and we go to the store, and if we go to sell it in the store, I bet you it's exactly the same. I'm pretty sure I saw that somewhere that it's going to be exactly the same. We have to put it in storage. Crap. Right. It's got to go in storage. Uh, go back to the mech bay real quick. Come on. So we drop this guy into storage. Confirm it. Because when you scrap it, it takes all the components off it, right? And they go into your storage automatically. And when you sell it, it doesn't have anything in it anyway. So if we go to the store, it was 1.66, I think, million. Go to the store. Eventually, go to selling. Yeah, it's exactly the same price. So it doesn't matter whether you trash it or sell it. It's exactly the same. So if you guys were wondering, now you know. I'm, I was pretty sure that was wh how it was, though. But when someone mentioned you get like three times more for it, unless in, if you don't scrap it, it's not how it works. Uh, although I know you can take these things apart for components. When you put them in storage, if they're in storage, you can dis dismantle them and reassemble them, <laughs> which is ridiculous because then they have like new gear on them again or gear on them, which is like kind of stupid. Anyway, so that Atlas is gone. Now we can fix the Kaiju. We should have enough to make our financial report. I hope. We broke here. We gotta almost have enough mechs for another mission. So, uh, Kaiju. On the Naga, I mean, we can put a night gear into storage. That's easy enough. It keeps everything intact on the CT, so when it comes forward, it's easy to reassemble it. All right, so repair all. And we're going to strip the gear with the exception of the core and the end of steel. We'll leave those on. Confirm this. Get that repairing. It'll be a while before that's up and running, but once again, we want to put an XL engine in that, so it's going to be four million, four and a half million if we do that. So let's get that going. Now we can't put arm mounts in this, but you know it's a kaiju, so there you go. And the Naga, let's have a look at this guy. Doesn't look like there's much in this one either. Although it's got Omni Mech gear, so that's going to get repaired. I hope. So if we do a repair on this, what do we what do we got? We got arrow ammo. And it is an Omnimech, so beautiful. This is perfect. Let's pull off uh, all of this stuff for now. Because we're definitely not going to be using the uh, ammo in the, in the arms. Um, pull this off for now. 400 core? Are you serious? Are you serious? That kind of rules us out from being an arrow mech. Like once we max out the armor, unless we don't, I mean, I hate not maxing out the armor. Uh, I mean, I'll do this later, but if we go to TB, yeah, here we go. So this is like 12 tons. Another 12 on this side puts it up to 78. It's like, we've only got to have a handful of ammo. That's really, really sucky. Uh, maybe we turn this into a hard-hitting, fast mech. Because it is fast. All right, let's just repair it. Okay, let's confirm this. All right, guys, i got to end this episode here. I have to go get cat food. It's the day before uh, family day. I don't know if you guys have family day in the States or around the world, but we got it here in Canada, and that's tomorrow. So 
I am going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.